Bosch heat pumps, not dishwashers, not refrigerators, all these other appliances, heat pumps, HVAC equipment. Let's talk about that right now. Hey guys, Joshua Griffin here serving the Middle Peninsula and the Northern Neck of Virginia. And I wanted to do a quick video on Bosch HVAC heat pumps and, uh, you know, just kind of talk about them, what you need to know as a consumer or homeowner and consider uh, before making your next purchase. Um, we started working with Bosch a couple years ago. Um, I put one in my house and I just want to run through a couple things that Bosch does that at this point during the making of this video, uh, I believe they're the only company that's doing some of the things that they're doing. So I'm going to focus on pretty much uh, their three uh, main products right now um, during the making of this video. Now, you know, maybe this may change. You might be watching this video in the future and you know maybe they've added a few products or changed their lineup but basically there are three main products right now they're 18 sear inverted split heat pump system inverter sorry and i got a little brochure that kind of talks about that and that's going i'm going to use that to keep me on topic uh there's kind of a picture of them and now they have what, now they call this their 18 sear. This is what they started with. They call this their 1.0 line now. And now they have their 2.0 line. And um, the main difference between those are the 1.0 line has a constant torque uh, air handler or blower motor. And the new 2.0 line has a variable speed. But other than that, they are identical in their operation. And so essentially what Bosch has done is, you know, and, and this may change in the future, but there's, you know, there's, there's a lot of brands out there and they kind of make all kinds of different products to kind of capture different markets or different consumers. And Bosch said, you know what, we're going to start out with one or two products and we're going to make them really well and 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 hang our hat on that and I, I actually like that because they do what they do really well and you know again i'm going to go through a couple things but i've met with other brands if you will companies that want us to sell their equipment and one of my favorite things to ask uh when i'm meeting a new company is what do you offer that no one else offers um, and to me, that should be pretty easy to answer. Uh, most of the products that I sell, I can answer that question. If somebody asks me, you know, what, what does this brand offer that no one else offers? I can answer that. Uh, I can answer that with Bosch. And we're going to go through that right now. And uh, so, again, it's three main products. They're 1.0, they're 2.0. And then now, they just came out with recently, within the last year, a package unit that is 19 sear. It's inverter driven. Uh, it's it's cutting edge, honestly, because I don't know any other uh, brand or any of the main brands that are making a 19 sear package heat pump system. Uh, most of them, you're looking at, you know, 16, maybe 17, um, not 19. So that's, it's pretty unheard of actually at this point in time. Now, you know, again, you might be watching this years in the future and they'll say, well, shoot, that's the minimum now. I know, you know, that's no big deal. But during the making of this video, cutting edge, no one else doing that for the price point that these guys are doing it at. So again, so let me get back to what I was saying. So Bosch, uh, what, what do they, what have they decided to do well that no one else is doing? Well, the first thing they're doing is they're offering these high sear systems, the 18 with the 1.0, then 20 with the 2.0 lines, and they're able to do it, and I'm going to go through how in just a second, but they're able to do it uh, at much lower prices than some of the other bigger brands. So, 
you know, if you were to buy a 20 sear system from one of the bigger brands, you know, you're looking at an indoor unit, you know, we're talking about a split system. So some sort of indoor unit, whether it be an air handler or furnace, you're going to have an outdoor uh, heat pump or air conditioner. And, uh, you know, once you start adding in that it's communicating, um, the thermostats in a lot of cases, because they're communicating, they're exclusive to that line. You can't just, in a lot of cases, you can't just go to a big box store and buy a thermostat for your system anymore. It's, um, you know, it's all communicating. It uses DC pulses to talk to one another. And, and, and that's all great in itself. It really is. It's, it's a really cool technology. Um, the system can decide because they can talk to one another. The system can decide what it needs to do as far as the speed it needs to run at and things like that based on, you know, indoor temperature, discharge temperature, uh, outdoor temperature, all those things. And it, and it can it can do all that because it can talk to one another um, literally. I mean, it's it's not talk, it's it's not like your normal 24 volt AC system where it's just literally the thermostat is just switches that close inside the thermostat. Um, so Bosch has said, we're not going to do all that. They have an inverter uh, compressor that can ramp up and down just like any other system. Uh, speed up, slow down, lots of in-between, save energy, all that good stuff. But what it does, and, 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 and at this point in time, I'm being told, I, I, none of this literature actually addresses it, but I'm being told that it's made by one of the big manufacturers uh, that are famous for inverter uh, technology. Now, I'm not going to say who that is because that may change. Bosch might decide to make their own compressors in the future. Um, they may decide to get someone else to make them. Who knows? But at this point in time, they have this big kahuna of a, of a brand that makes inverter-driven systems, and they, they've taken that compressor and they've put it in this trash can style looking unit. I call them trash can style. It's not it's not a side discharge unit like you're see, used to seeing with some of the, the ductless systems. And here's kind of a, a shot of it kind of cut open there. And uh, hopefully that's uh, not out of focus. But anyway, so, you know, so that what they do is they t they've taken this inverter driven compressor and it monitors the suction pressure coming back from the indoor unit, the indoor coil. OK, now, why does that matter? Instead of it talking to one another and doing all this fancy stuff. <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> Bosch has said this unit will ramp up and down based on the load, based on what it's got coming back from that suction line. If it sees a, you know, a, a warmer co coil in AC mode, it's going to ramp up a little bit, you know, give you the capacity that you need. It's going to uh, ramp down if it's seeing a nice cool coil to barely running at times and, and draw very little energy. So I think that's, you know, really cool. It's, it's um, you know, there's, there's a few things that you can do to the system to, um, I'm not going to get in all that, but to make it uh, dehumidify a little better than some of the other, uh, or than, than if you weren't to do those things, I guess. But um, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's just kind of cool what they've been able to do. And, you know, so they, they, they've said that, you know, that we're not going to make hundreds of different products. We're going to make a couple and we're going to get really well at making those products. And they're just as quiet. They're super quiet. I mean, as low as 56 decibels running. Um, you know, they're super efficient. And you can still put your own thermo. If you have a, if you like the, I've actually heard them say they don't want you using the, the I'm not going to say the name. I, I almost said it. The, uh, but a certain brand of thermostats. Um, but, you know, you can use a regular thermostat that you got from one of the uh, big box stores. And, um, you know, so I just think that that's something to note. Now they're, they're again, their big difference between their 1.0 and their 2.0 line is you, you know, you go up to the 2.0, you're going to get 20 sear. It's a variable speed air handler, and um, still super quiet. Really cool technology, same technology, and um, and they're great. You know, so 
uh, we're offering them with a three year labor warranty and it comes with a 10 year parts warranty and you get an extra war a year on that uh, if it's installed by a Bosch Pro contractor, which Griffin Air is. And, uh, you know, we've put in several of these. I have had very few issues with them. That's the other thing. I put these things in, we don't hear back. And, um, you know, so they're just, they're just really good at what they do. The only other thing that I'll mention on that is, you know, they don't make all these different sizes. Uh, right now, they're pretty much <coughs> in the residential line making a three ton and a five ton. And then what they're able to do is just by changing some of the settings, you can make that three all the way down to a ton and a half or that five all the way down to a three and a half. So anyway, if you have any questions, we'd love to earn your business. Give us a call, 804-505-0247. Uh, Thank you.